I will be um, covering how to install mCreator and getting it all set up with uh, JDK and um, setting up Techni and a few other things. Um, now what you're going to need is you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip if you prefer but um, for a photo editor I usually use paint.net um, it's free and I'll provide all the links in the description. You're also going to need um, Techni so you're going to need to download this right here. That's the download. Um, download for mCreator. We're going to be using a zip so we're going to select that one. We're going to wait five seconds. Now I have add block on here so it's not showing up. But there's usually an ad that pops up there. Now the next thing you want to do is click this green button. And it will download here. Okay, so we got mCreator out of our hands. Now for JDK, we're going to have to install that first. So what is JDK? It's, it's uh, I don't know, it's like code stuff. Anyways, um, it's needed and to run mCreator. Um, since we're using the zip, we're going to have to download it and install it. So what we're going to need is the Windows um, 86. So after you accept the license agreement by clicking this little thing right here, you can download from this um, the download link right on this side. So now this will be downloading. Right, last thing that we need to download, um, I already have the other two, these uh, WinRAR and um, Paint.net installed, so last thing we need is to download Techni. So we just click on their download button. And that's downloaded, and we're just waiting for the other two. I will unpause the video when it is finished. Alright, so we have um, our three files that we downloaded. Uh, first thing we're going to do is set up um, JDK and then we're going to install an mCreator and then we're finally going to install Techni. So let's get started. Alright, so now we're going to click Next. Um, this is our directory that's going to be in, so we're going to click Next. Alright, so it's done, and now we click Closed. So this is out of the way. Next thing we need to do is, well, it's almost out of the way. We need to set up the path. So first we need to go to our computer. We need to go to our local disk, and because mine installed to the 86, I'm going to go in here, 
and then I'm going to click Java, and then I'm going to click, click JDK, and then our bin. And at least this is where mine is saved to. Yours may be saved in a different directory. You have to check when you, while you're installing. I'm going to collect or copy this path right here with Control C. And then what I'm going to do is type in. I, I can leave that now. I can type in path. And then I want to choose edit system variables or environment variables. Um, environment variables. Now this is extremely important, um, so listen up. When you're editing, do not delete any of the paths that are already, already in there. Um, all you want to do is add the path. So while you're opening it up, a common mistake is just to hit like space or paste in the code. That will remove every, th every path is in here. Don't do that make sure that it's not selected and go to the end so all the way to the end put a semicolon which is the dot with the little comma at the bottom and then you want to paste in your path and that's all it is that's it's done so JDK is officially set up and you just make sure you click OK on all of them so now we're going to install mCreator so what we need to do is go back to our computer go into our local disk and then create a new um, well I'm going to get rid of this you want to create a new folder called pylo so p l capital p l y o and then in pylo you want to create another folder called m creator capital m c and then creator And then in, in M Creator, you want to drag your zip into here and then extract here. And this will take a few moments. Alright, so it's done. All we need to do is drag that out of there again so it's not interfering with any of the files. We're going to click on the bat and then we're going to go open. Do not run it as an administ administrator because it will not run properly. So all you need to do is just click run or open and it will start installing. Now while it's doing that, I think what we're going to do is um, install Techni. So we're going to click open on Techni on the installer. I think I have it under install. Alright, so that's from mCreator. It's basically showing us their website. Alright, so you'll probably see that it's popping up, oh, warning, it's virus, blah, 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 it's not, it works fine. Just click um, install. Now what I like to do is find the location which should be under um, this, this name right here and then I usually just send to desktop, create shortcut. So I can put that in my folder that I have named mCreator. 
So now that's in there. And the last thing I like to do is um, find local disk, go to Pilo, M Crater, and then copy the exe and send to create shortcut. So now we have a shortcut to M Crater, and we don't need to keep going into um, our local disk. And we're just waiting for it to finish. And um, it should only take a few moments. And this came up, so. Um, if you want to do this, you're more than welcome. Basically, you can submit crash reports. I'm not going to. Um, I'll cover Techni in a later tutorial, but right now we don't really need to learn it at the moment. So I'm just going to click that and then exit out. And if it stops popping up Internet Explorer, I'll be happy. Alright, so it's starting M Creator up for the first time. And it's going to ask us to log in. I'm going to use my login to connect to um, M Creator, and then I'm going to click login. If you haven't have a um, M Creator account, and, um, register one. Alright, so now we're in for the first time. Um, I'm going to basically cover the interface in, in the next couple of tutorials. Um, one's going to be on paint.net and one's going to be on um, the interface of how everything works in here. Um, so that's all it is. It, we've successfully installed mCreator. Um, if you like my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.